<laughs> Welcome, guys. Uh, Pokemon Sacred Gold, the title says. Heart, but it's sacred. And it's not even vanilla sacred gold, either. I just happened to encounter a guy on the internet who had a hack of a hack. So, in honor of this flying solo episode, we're going to be delving in the Sacred Gold DX. Tell you about the tough game. We know how to play Pokemon. This ain't hard. No info needed, please. Interesting. Oh, excuse me. I was just reading this book here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to Sacred Gold or Storm Silver, a hack with an expansion of features. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. <laughs> Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know. And let me show you a native Pokemon. Johto and Kanto regions were known for having only a fraction of the Pokemon within its borders, but large-scale migrations have brought a great variety to the region's fauna. There are new challenges awaiting you, and a great amount of differences in how you'll raise your Pokemon. Now then, why don't you tell me a little bit more about yourself? Are you a dude, or are you a dudette? Won't you please tell me? Well, obviously I'm a dude. Backwards hats, boy. Um, let's go. Now, if you'd think I'd be able to see all these letters, you guys can't see it because I'm only recording the one screen. <laughs> Figure this game does not use the bottom screen for pretty much anything. Um, I'm sure this looks completely boring to you guys, but I swear there's things going on. I just couldn't remember if this game was capitalized or not. Okay, you waited all that just to see me type out four letters. Are you ready, Mark? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Let's get into the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later if I don't die by then. Yeah, I don't have any of that documentation, so none of it's relevant to me. Of course we'll have fun. Wow, it's so rain! About time you woke up. Professor Elm wanted to see you. Here's your things. All at once, I like that. <laughs> I hear Johto has changed a lot in the past few years. You should be careful, Mark. Here, take your running shoes. And you probably also want your bike and music player as well. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> oh yeah, Game Boy sounds right from the get-go. I'm sure you know how to use these. Oh, I hear Elm has a gift for you. Well, first things first, I need to get that tech speed going. It is dreadfully slow right now. And let's change the frame while we're at it. I like frame 10 the most on the Heart Gold Soul Silver set. And I'm gonna turn on the running shoes. Figure no need to not have them on. Ah, uh, new bark. And I'm already assaulted. I have nothing to defend myself. I'm dead! Get out of here, Meryl. Nobody likes you anyways. <laughs> and we know the story here. That kid's watching us. Elm wants us to go get a Pokemon. Hey, Mark. I've been waiting for you to arrive. I've been curious about Pokemon, or about how Pokemon feel walking outside the balls. I was hoping I could have your help with these tests. Oh, hey, I just got an email, conveniently. Mm-hmm, okay. Hey, uh, listen, I know a person named Mr. Pokemon who finds all sorts of crazy stuff. 
He says he has something, but we're so busy with our research. Can you pick it up for us? You can take one of the Pokemon in the machine. I was gonna give it to you anyways, but whatever. Touch Pokeball to see what Pokemon's inside. Not touching that stuff. I don't know where these have been. Uh, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Chikorita. Uh, let's go with Cyndaquil. It is the superior one after all. But not quite superior. <laughs> Cyndaquil from Professor Elm. Bop. Give a nickname. Yeah. Oh, it's female. Cool. Let's name you. Kind of bad, this nickname's longer, but it's gonna be typed out a lot quicker. Is Mittens the nickname you wanna give it? How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad. You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's just so easy, just check the PP on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds priority. House is just past Cherry Grove. Go north a little bit. I'm counting on you. Oh, don't forget me. Uh, I want you to have these to, to, for your task for the professor. They're just some potions, man. Pokemon are weak in the beginning and the end. Don't hesitate to use Pokemon if you think it's in danger. Oh, do it. She's back. yourself a Pokemon! I gotta say, it's really cute! When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly! You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too! Oh, that's right! I'm gonna go show it to your mom! See ya! Yeah, you just think it's cute because your water type beats it. I see your game, Lyra! House, let me in! I need my cell phone, Mom! Oh, Mark, that's cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, he has a task for you, you say? What kind? That sounds a little difficult. When somebody makes that kind of request, it must be important. Oh, my poke gear's back. Now we can make phone calls. Guess what? You can use the poke call to make phone call. Yes, I remember. Don't tell me. Uh, I hate how, no matter what you say, she tells you what to do. I know how to operate this thing, Mom. Geez, you wonder why I'm leaving. Alright, let's get out of New Park Town. Let's see, it's evening time. Oh, wait one second. Uh, I gotta walk. I almost completely forgot about this. Here's my, here's my phone number. I'll call you if something comes up. Ugh. I need to hide in some water. Ugh. See ya. Let's see what new encounter we already are gonna encounter here. Route 29? Nighttime? Or evening, kind of. Oh, it's just a centric. Hey, that looks different than the centric sprite park gold so silver normally uses. Now for the ever boring stages of any early Pokemon game. Tackle, scratch, or pound spam. Come on, mittens. These are, these mittens are pretty tough. I guess I should look at your stats at some point, see what nature and all that you got. Oof. Alright, mittens. You, it. you are jolly. Oh, that's nice. That means you can use your mixed stats quite nice. Oh, and you got Flash Fire as an ability. Ha 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 ha, and I need a good grass type so I don't have to worry about the fire weakness. This is gonna be good, boys! Gosh, I wish Jeremy was here with me. <laughs> oh well, he'll probably be here for some of the recordings, just not this one. So I guess I should just call it Semi Solo? Because not every single episode of this will be a flying solo. <laughs> There's so many decisions, I can't make them on my own! Ah! Oh, hey, you already have Gust as a starting move. That's 
Okay, that's not bad. Just give it a little bit more beef. Yeah, yeah, level up. Oh, I already got smoke screen. <laughs> You know, as much as I love Gen 4, I will say it is a slow game. Okay. Oh, I see. That's how gender differences are in this version. They have just completely new sprites instead of just... Oh, it's slightly bigger in some spots. That's kind of nifty. Small, our female Pidgeys are small and stout. Male Pidgeys are more aggressive looking. Um, where's my potions? Since everything's a little bit tougher, I don't want to take any risks. Go. Continue onwards. Ho! Hello, Cherry Grove. Oh, Jesus, the smelly shoe guy. You're a rookie trainer, right? Let me show, show you around. Follow me. Oh, please. Let me show you around, it won't take long. I promise. This here's a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful things. Not 30s out this way. Trainers will be battling the Pokemon. If you go even a little further, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Oh, Jesus. Oh. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found all in the water. Uh, uh. I need my inhaler. Oh, this is my house. Here, take a fishing rod for help. Follow me. Just grab my old rod right there, kid. Simply toss it in the water and you have a chance of getting bit. Oh, no, I'm gonna go die. Ah, so we can go fishing right away, too. That's nice. Catch ourselves a magic cart. <laughs> oh, I had a heart attack and I had to come get you. But now it's past. Here, have another thing for me. Have a map. That way, after I die, I don't have to keep following you. Get out of here now. Oh, turdy. Dirty turdy. Woohoo! That makes up for the potion I just wasted. What are you doing here, kid? Well, you wear any shoes. They make you feel like you're flying, don't they? But you wear wild Pokemon and trainers. When you run, the noise will attract them. Well, jeez. People usually come to my house look for Mr. Pokemon. We did meet in a visit, though, so how kind. Have you heard of apricots? They bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees right outside. <laughs> They're really something. You can make balls and other things. <laughs> I have a feeling it's feet, so here. Have my box. It'll go great with that guy's old rod. If you carry so many, you'll be an apricorn collector. An apricorn collector. Let's just harvest ourselves one. Rub, rub, rub. <laughs> I just think that's weird that the tree, you know, you rub it, you stimulate it, and it just pops out a little apricorn. Oh, I could have made it, but I did not. Oh, hey, Azuril, you're new. It makes sense, though, if Meryl's a Pokemon you can find in these games, it makes sense that its pre-evolution would be available, too. And it makes if you want to raise a Meryl, you can get it pretty early. That water, well, thankfully, Azuril's pretty weak. It's not a water type, so it's not getting stab on any of that. Though that's annoying. Mm. Oh, yeah, my attack fell. As long as I can knock him out. Quit doing that. Pow! I was gonna say probably only one more tackle, but. Not anymore. Way to go, Mittens! That was a decent chunk of experience for it, too. Let's see. Antidote. 
I'm not poisoned. Alright. Well, obviously the path on the right's not the right one. Doi. Hey, Kathy. Mittens, if only you had access to Ember. Woodwork house. Tackle. 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 Maybe somebody will use Tickle. Instead, you spit your string all over me. Ha! You still too fast. Whee! 22! Huh, huh, hike! Ha ha, made it. Cynthia, what are you doing here? Oh, hello. Mr. Pokemon said he was expecting a young trainer to arrive. Is your name Mark by any chance? I see. I guess you are the trainer Mr. Pokemon is expecting. My name is Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer who hails from Sinnoh. Tell me, Mark, have you heard a story that tells the tale of the legendary trainer? You haven't? I'll briefly explain. The story tells the tale of how a trainer travels the lands of Johto and Kanto, catching all the Pokemon known to mankind. He captures the most basic of Pokemon, and even the most mythical of Pokemon, to eventually come face to face with the one who the Pokemon call God. The archaeology in, Johto and in the Johto region appears to back the existence of this story. It's interesting to be sure. Thank you for listening to me, Mark. You know, you remind me of a trainer I knew from Sinnoh. You may not know it yet, but I think you are capable of great things. In fact, I'd even help like to help you reach your maximum potential. Here, let me give you a small gift. Eevee! Haha, -ha, I've already got a Pokemon before I can even catch it! Let's see... A male Eevee, eh? Let's name you... There are numerous possibilities of evolution for Eevee, which makes it a very interesting Pokemon. I wonder what you'll decide to evolve it into. Perhaps we'll cross paths again, Mark. But until then, farewell. Ominous disappearance. Oh, of course I've got to check my free Eevee. Level 5. Careful nature. Oh, I know I'm not going to evolve it into the special attack based ones. Since this seems to be defensive. If I even raise it, I'm not a huge fan of Eevee. Its move pool is abysmal. You must be Mark. I was I who sent an email to Professor Amalia. Oh, 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 oh. oh, careful, careful. Oh, I dropped it. This is what I want Professor Am to examine. Mystery egg. Don't ask me how I got it. But a friend of mine, who was a friend of mine, an Equitech, gave me it to me. I bet you can't find this egg in Johto anywhere. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what it is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. Have you heard of him? Oh, oh, you haven't? Mind your return to Elm already? Well, here, have some rest. that. I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Mark? I was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, and what's this? A rare Pokemon? Ah, I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, seem to be quite dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on the Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia, which is kind of like Wikipedia for you young kids. I'd like you to have it. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. Uh, but I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. But Mark, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. But just to be safe, we're going to exchange phone numbers. 
I like to keep tabs on all the little children I employ. <laughs> Walk to Goldenrod. Yeah, can't get out of there. Emergency phone call. Hello, Mark. It's a disaster. Uh, uh, it's just terrible. What should I do? Uh, oh no! Please, please get back here right now. Wow. Gosh, Professor Elm, you're useless. Alright, I guess we'll go see what his dilemma is. Run, run, run! Ah, oh, darn it. Seeing if we can get to Mr. Elm without having to fight a single thing. But this Caterpie seemed bent on my destruction. Alright, Mittens, show it who's boss. Smash in the face. Smash in the face. Ah, uh, I'm not quite too shy. Naturally. Alright, my noisy neighbors, like, jeez. You guys hear any of that loud clunking or something? It's just my neighbors. Ignore them. Yay, level 7. Let's get out of that terrible, terrible grass. Yoink! Yoink! Well, you know, since we all know what's coming up, let's get our sacrificial lamb up and going. Not like I'm nuzlocking this or anything. I, I think even with the changes, this game's still incredibly difficult. Hmm. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's just too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Verse Enigma. Passerby boy. If only I had enough room to name him that. Alright, Evan. Time to throw sand in his face. Well, it looks really happy to be there doing like, ah, ah. Sand in my mouth. Ah. <laughs> Quit leering at me. Your face is scary enough without it. I'm gonna beat him with my Eevee? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, does he have adaptability? If so. So, I might consider raising it then. Jeez Louise, Papa Bees. You are on fire, Evie. Are you happy you won? <laughs> Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest trainer. Oof. Oh, where's my stuff? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, give me that. I have a. My trainer card, you, you, you didn't see my name. I, I, I liked it better when he just said in the original, my name's blah, 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 blah. And then we just had to determine whatever we wanted to out of that. I mean, doing it that way, I guess, make sure nobody names him triple question mark. But he'll always be triple question mark in my heart. Or maybe triple D. Take him to Flavor Town. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to check on my Eevee, see if it has adaptability. I will quit hitting select instead. Summary! Ahaha! <laughs> okay, maybe I will raise you, Eevee. You seem to be quite beefy. Professor Elm, Professor Elm! Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will return to the scene of the crime. Oh my, so that means you're the one who did it. You know, brilliant deduction, detective. Hold on a minute, he had nothing to do with it. I saw it, I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking in the building. What? You 
that little boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Something like a uh, triple question mark? Can I even name him triple question mark? Yes! Just for old time's sakes. Ah, so Enigma was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. See ya, you'll never hear from me again. Look, I'm glad they understand you're innocent. See you later. Oh, Mike, this is terrible. Oh yes, uh, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery anyways? What? Huh? Uh, this is an egg. Uh, this might just be something we've never seen before, but still, it's just an egg. Uh, but Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated with eggs. And since he gave it to us, we might as well see what secrets it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out more about it. What? What? Oak? The Oak? Gave you a Pokedex? If that's true, it's incredible. He's superb at seeing the potential of trainers. Wow, Mark, I knew you were a little different, and I just thought it was because you were gay or something. But it turns out you're actually a good trainer. This is gonna be fun. And your Pokemon really seem to like you. So why don't you, uh, take the gym challenge? Get out of town. If you manage to defeat all of them, you'll eventually challenge the Elite Four. <laughs> or not, you could fail. Becoming the champion is not all that easy, but you can certainly challenge the Violet City Gym Leader. They're a bunch of pushovers. It's gonna be a long journey though, so make sure you talk to your mom. Fine. I don't like my mom anyways. So, you're gonna leave on an adventure? Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know. Every time we receive some of that there prize money, I'll save some of it. Because on a long journey, money's important. You want me to save it? Nah. We'll just waste it all. Whew. Well, I do believe that wraps up episode one, fellas. I'm gonna save us off here. You guys just make sure you like and subscribe us. We'll keep this stuff going if you do. And until next time, peace.